Hey guys, Uber Life NYC coming at you with some new stuff coming on. Um, well, first of all, I got a new car, and this is a 2015 5 Series BMW. I believe it's a 528i. This thing's pretty solid. I mean, just driving it, you feel in control, you feel hugged to the road. Um, it does sit a little bit low. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do a video just on the car and explain that to you, but um, I'm going through a third party, uh, or should I say not like one of these um, big rental companies, but I am renting this car, and this does qualify for Uber Black. So that's something that's new and exciting, is driving for Uber Black. Secondly, is I'm, I've initiated my Lyft, uh, so I will start to be driving for Lyft as well. Now, the reason I'm doing this is not that I need more business but with uber black and to catch black car rides it's more of a timing and a placement um, thing and I'm just getting started and I'll explain this as I go to you um, at least with my experience of what I've experienced blah 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 um, you want to sort of play Lyft Lux which is a uh, you know they're uber black if you will and uber black off of each other you want to have both apps going because you're looking for specific riders ridership which is from what i understand is like five percent of rides are hailed by uber black now if you know the difference between the uber x and uber suv and then uber black and then uber black suv so it just pretty much uber black versus uber x is double the price um, I'll send you a for instance or put in some screenshots at the end of this video, but let's go to this Let's go to registering the car um, As an uber black First of all, I've never had problems with paperwork submitting it on the app as I have with this one Paperwork's right. It's just tricky. It was a little weird, but anyway got it up and running um, and now I'm actually having to go to the green light hub because it's been four to five days I've been today's Friday I registered this car on Monday, and I've been driving Monday, but it has not classified me as Uber Black. Uber X and Pool, but not Uber Black. So I haven't even taken one. And I've called, and I've called, and I've called, and you know what, they're, oh, so sorry, you know, so sorry, we don't, and I'm like, just initiate me under the Black category. So I'm having to go in. So I'm gonna um, do a little explanations, I guess. Or let's just go inside and see what they say. Um, I've got kicked out of filming in here before, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, it's at the Green Light Hub. You can actually type that into your Google search here in Long Island City. I'll give you a little bit of, uh, for instance, here uh, with some video content. But um, I'm gonna go in there and get this thing listed, and I'm also gonna go talk to the guys at Lyft and see if I can't do their, their promotion. I think they've got like a $500 X amount of rides within a month or so. So um, great information coming at you in just a minute. Hang loose and I'll talk to you in just a second. All right guys, so I just left the office uh, for Uber. Man, that was easy. Um, the guy just had to flick a couple of buttons. He's like, dude, you're rating. He was bragging about me to all his colleagues. Like I'm back up to 4.98, over 680 rides. So anyway, um, positive experience here at Uber, and uh, let's go talk to Lyft. All right, guys, leaving the um, Lyft office, fourth floor. Um, they answer my questions really quickly, simply, and there is a sign-on bonus that I did not know about, and it's uh, first 50 rides, I'm gonna get $200. So that's pretty cool. Um, and also, I automatically qualify for Lux, so which was equivalent to Uber Black. Like right away, didn't have to come in, didn't have to go through all that uh, that I did with Uber. But anyway, um, I'm gonna talk to you guys more when we get back. Okay guys, just I wanna do a quick recap. You saw that I was um, went to the Uber and the Lyft office. And I guess what you really should take away from this video is just because you have a black car and you're setting it up doesn't mean you're going to be able to drive black car right away. Um, if you have any issues that doesn't go on automatically, go right into the hub. Don't waste time. I wasted a lot of time. I got busy doing other things, but that's a different story. Anyway, I'm going to tell you how the driving for Uber Black goes this week, and I'm also going to tell you how driving for Lyft goes this week. 
So I've got a couple of really great things coming at you. I'll show you some more of the car um, and let's get on the road. So see you there.